what is the difference between heat stroke and heat exhaustion? Heat stroke. <laughs> heat stroke means you lose consciousness and heat exhaustion means you just get really tired? Yeah, pretty much, I would say. Okay. Heat stroke is more of a serious medical emergency that occurs when your body is unable to control its internal temperature. Okay. And then uh, heat exhaustion occurs when your body loses excess amount of salt, uh, water, and, t and it's typically caused from sweating. So what are the symptoms of heat exhaustion? Extreme fatigue. Mm -hmm. um, sweating. Yeah. yeah sweating. Um, maybe inability to See. make conscious things. Um, loss yeah. of vision. Um, yeah. uh, not feeling hungry. Okay, so the answer is there's a skin rash. Uh, heavy sweating, you got dizziness, you got nausea, you got... Uh, there's also rapid breathing and heartbeat. Headache, difficulty concentrating, muscle cramps, extreme thirst, dark urine, and decreased urination. <laughs> so what are the symptoms of heat stroke? So when it's like a medical emergency. You feel dizzy, you feel like you're gonna faint. Um, Lack of consciousness. Mm -hmm. um, extreme exhaustion and fatigue. Yeah. Tight pain in the chest. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much most of them. Yeah. There's a uh, high body temperature. Uh, fainting or decreased consciousness, confusion, lack of coordination, very hot and red skin. How much water should a person drink if they're out in the sun? More than two liters. Yeah, but think about how often and, and like how much water like during that time. A glass every hour. Close, a little bit less than that. Okay, a glass every two hours? No, like, le like less time. Oh, a glass in every two hours. Uh, every close, every... Minutes. Every 15 to 20 minutes. Oh. oh okay. And what individuals are at a higher risk for heat related illness? Elderly. Yep. Uh, frail. Um, yep. Those who are diabetic. Yep. Anemic. Um, young pregnant, children. Pregnant women. Pregnant women, yep. Um, so seniors age 60 years or older, which you got. People who live alone. Um, people with pre existing health conditions, which you guys got. Um, people with substance use disorders. People who are pregnant, you guys got. And then infants and young children. Um, so what do you do if you notice somebody has heat exhaustion? Bring them water, mm -hmm. bring them to shade. Yep. Um, maybe maybe create like cooling kits to get a damp towel put yep. around their Yeah, neck. those are all right. Yeah. And then what do you do when someone has heat stroke? Call 911. Yeah. 